stage pass, so I'm going to be taking the video camera, taking some clips, and then uh, seeing if after we go off uh, the air that night, if Rob can put it over uh, Justin TV for everybody see, to see. See, here, here's, the, here's the thing. You know, I was going to say, you know, you fucked us over on the SmackDown tapings tonight, this and that, but we're saving your money for a TNA show, and TNA over WWE in my book. I'll let you... <laughs> I'll let you slide, brother. <laughs> I gotta go. I gotta go with uh, the better. Or everybody's gonna hate on this. I gotta go with the better wrestling, the better fan interaction, and the better program overall. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, get to our live chat room, wzronline.com slash chat. Once again, wzronline.com slash chat. Lots and lots of people in there tonight already. Once again, if you tuned in a little bit late, all of hour number two, we're gonna talk Billy Gunn and Matt Hardy. If you wanna call up and debate, we'll have an intelligent debate. Don't call up and go fucking bazonkers on me and, and freak out like some of you guys have been doing on the uh, on the comments script. We'll call up, we'll have an intelligent debate about why we've posted the voicemails, why we're posting the Matt Hardy stuff, all that stuff in hour number two. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. We'll get out the uh, live phone number here in just a little bit. One other thing, um, the internet thing that I had last week, uh, the net issues with it cutting out, it hasn't done it in a few days, but you never know. You never know. So hopefully... Knock on wood. Yeah, knock on wood. Hopefully it doesn't happen uh, tonight. So as far as uh, WZR Online is concerned, I know I told you guys last week that I was going to give uh, an update, a statement, what the deal is. Basically... It's fixed. We're, we're all fixed. Everything is, uh, is good to go now. And next week, I will uh, let you know about what happened, what happened with that. But uh, WZRonline.com is good to go. SmackDown tapings and NXT in Detroit tonight, as uh, we noted a few minutes ago. And uh, what else? What else? We, uh, yeah. Oh, YouTube? Go no, go ahead. Oh, I'll, I'll say... Go ahead, 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 questions on aim yes sir so hit us up all right and uh, one other uh one other plug here rob the guy that makes this show possible on a weekly basis um for you guys he's got a website www.tv sports with a z dot net tv sports with a z dot net go over there for our live streams ww meta champions come up this sunday night Get a live stream. the man. Get a live stream over there for like five bucks. High definition. Awesome quality. So TV Sports with a Z dot net. Oh, um, yeah. right? oh yeah. Oh, get to the Facebook page too. Also, WZR Army. Search that up on the Facebook page. Get over there. We got over a thousand members. So get there. <laughs> no doubt. And uh, as far as archives, um, we're still looking for a guy. Um, somebody sent me a link. Um, Basically, they said, God, what was the name of it? It was um, www. Oh, man. Uh, no idea. <laughs> oh, no. www.mp3mymp3. www.mymp3. No, what, what the fuck? mp 3 mymp 3com and apparently that website, there's, uh, there's something that goes on where anything that comes through the speakers, that, that website or a program on that website records it, so I don't know if that'll work, check that out if any, oh, somebody's using it, no doubt, never mind then, send that to me, um, Dustin, in the chat room, send that to me at uh, webmaster at prowrestlingscoops.com after it's over. Just uh, shoot me a link or something like that, bro, and uh, I'll be able to get the archives up um, for you, probably starting this week, as long as uh, Dustin comes through for us. So, hey, you know, you know two other things we probably should talk about tonight, too? Yeah. Kevin Nash and Floyd Mayweather. Kevin Nash and Floyd Mayweather. Well, I meant just two separate things. I mean, not together. <laughs> huh. 
kind of was going nuts, and then Floyd Mayweather beating the crap out of his girlfriend. You're right. You're right. We're going to talk about that as well. Yeah, Mayweather shit's pretty crazy, man. Well, they had the kid, the uh, police report, the kid made some statements about his father, about Mayweather Jr., and uh, that's not good, man. I'm thinking this closes, uh, it just shuts the coffin on the whole Mayweather-Pacquiao fight. Oh, my God, Ricky Hatton, bro. <laughs> oh, with the uh, uh, Coke? Uh, have you seen that? Yeah, I've seen the picture. <laughs> I'm not talking about the picture, bro. I haven't put the video. Listen to the oh, load video. A, listen, load a new browser, um, okay. e even after the show or whatever. But um, YouTube.com, right? And, and they're pulling the videos. Um, News of the World, right? They've got this video, right? And he's huh? got, I mean, he's got like six lines of cocaine on the table and he walks up Damn. and they're huge they're, they're huge huge lines right and he walks up and just snorts all four of them right in a row and then he comes back like an hour later and he puts another four or five of them out bang does them all in, in, in one thing I mean it was fucking and it was like Five o'clock in the morning, and he's banging out these these huge, huge lines. So it was crazy, man. Just do yeah. search, do a search on uh, YouTube dot com. Mm -hmm. yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> he's, uh, he went on rehab. They uh, his family came over on Sunday night, and uh, they staged. There it is in the chat room. Somebody linked it. They staged uh, an intervention, and uh, he agreed yesterday morning to go into rehab. Apparently, he's had these problems for like a year or two, and they're saying that it yeah. dates back to when he hosted. Monday Monday Night Raw, it was all geeked out then too, so, I mean, yeah, it's, it's been going on for, for quite some time, so, we'll, uh, we'll talk about that uh, a little bit later as well, Kevin Nash, Mayweather, uh, Matt Hardy, Billy Gunn, hour number two, I guess that means we should move on, man, into Monday Night Raw from, uh, actually, you know what, let's do Ring of Honor um, from New York City first. And All right, then, you're going to have to run that down. All right, and then we'll get into Monday Night Raw here in just a little bit. Fuck, give me a second, guys. Do you want to skip around on Monday Night Raw? Or yeah, no, no, no. We're going we're gonna to skip around. We're going to skip around on, on both of these, to be honest with you, because I want to, uh, hour number two, we've got to, we're going to open that up and just basically get into a bunch of fun debates. Hopefully, it will be fun debates, you know? Hopefully, Hopefully definitely. You never know. All right, um... So, you guys know I went to uh, a Ring of Honor this past Saturday night. I know, uh, how many of you guys in the chat room, just so I can get a clue, who ordered that on uh, GoFightLive.tv? Any of you guys order that? Anybody? Yeah, there was a couple seconds away. There was, there was a few. Uh, couple. <clears throat> Alright, so we had a bunch of people that watched it. A few. Yeah. We'll <laughs> All right, so we had a, we had a few. Anyways, um, good show. I mean, great show from from top to bottom. I've been in New York City for a lot of Ring of Honor events. Um, always take the train down, and uh, this is probably the best event, best Ring of Honor event that I've ever attended. Um, just great, great wrestling. They um, uh, just uh, I mean uh, I don't even know where to start. The train got there at about 4:30. We went out, uh, had a bite to eat, and then I got to the arena early. Um, there were people that actually had tickets in hand, and this didn't happen. This happened one other time, not uh, not the event before this, but the event before that. Two events ago, it happened where uh, people that had tickets in hand were basically told, and it's not Ring of Honor that um, is telling them that they can't. It's, it's the venue. It's the Manhattan Center where they pack it to a certain amount and, and you've got the fire codes and, and, and stuff like that and they just can't let people in. Uh, yeah. Ring of Honor should be responsible. I mean, if they're going to sell tickets, they should make sure. They shouldn't... What they need to do is they need to run downstairs in, in the Hammerstein Ballroom. They run the Grand Ballroom upstairs, so you have to hike up seven stories of floors, Damn. and they never turn the fucking elevators on. Sometimes they do, but not this time, so you got to hike up the uh, seven stories, and they just need to go back in the Hammerstein Ballroom, because that holds 4,000, you know what I mean? And upstairs mm -hmm. is, is 1,500, 1,600, so um, just a awesome awesome venue I actually somebody a site that I used to work at okay um yeah, one of their guys <laughs> got uh, one of their guys got got denied or, or so I heard um but whatever anyways um so just a, a great event from top to bottom they uh the thing they did, it was 9-11, so they did a, a tribute, basically a moment of silence for uh, the 9-11 victims, and this was great, except for the one guy that yelled out, fuck you, fuck you, 9-11, or something, dead silence, okay, dead silence, and some fucker in the arena yelled, fuck you, 9-11, and everybody said, dude, 
Are you serious? Are you, <laughs> are you serious? Really, you say that shit? <laughs> I mean, are you kidding me? You know what I mean? So, I mean, that, that kind of, I don't know, but it was a, a classy moment. It was, it was cool that they did that. Then they opened it up. It was Kenny King and Jay Briscoe. God, they dropped uh, Briscoe. There was a spot where Kenny, Kenny King went directly on his head, bro, and they did the uh, You Killed Kenny chant. That was another thing, the uh, crowd chants all night long. She's got herpes, and you fucked up. Shut the fuck up. And Tyler <laughs> Black came out. They were chanting uh, FCW and Jobber and NXT. Oh, shit. <laughs> NXT, all sorts of shit. I mean, Tyler Black, and then basically they did the thing at the end where Tyler Black walked out, flipped everybody off basically said fuck you and the reason they did that is he's gonna have a match against Davey Richards here in a few weeks on uh, mm -hmm. HDNet and that's gonna be his farewell match so they had to continue that weeks of TV have already been taped and yeah. they just basically went, a went along with that storyline so he flipped everybody off on the way out um, <laughs> that uh, the opening match that led us to Mark Briscoe and Rhett Titus. Rhett Titus is, is gold, man, gold. Just an awesome, awesome gimmick. Both of these matches, singles matches, were good. I would have liked to see a tag team match. I mean, the Briscoes as a tag team, I mean, they just have, it's like the Motor City Machine Guns. The chemistry is just unbelievable between uh, between the Briscoe brothers. One of, oh, the yeah, definitely. one of the greatest tag teams in the world. If, uh, if you've never seen them, go YouTube some... some any Ring of Honor or indie videos of the Briscoe Brothers. Just an awesome. Oh, yeah, they're fucking awesome. amazing. Yeah, we had uh, Balls Mahoney and Grizzly Redwood. <laughs> Necro Butcher and Eric Stevens. Grizzly Redwood, man, took a brutal bump to the outside. Balls was, uh, you know, the, the Ring of Honor crowd, especially in New York City, is a crowd that, you know, if the match is garbage, they're going to shit all over it. Yeah. And, and, you know, I was kind of worried about Balls as... No, because he's uh, one of the worst wrestlers no, ever. But yeah, yeah, Balls, is, <laughs> Balls isn't your typical Ring of Honor wrestler, but they treated him with, you know, with the utmost respect, man. They had uh, the Balls chant, did all of this, you know, the Balls, 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 Balls. So, I mean, that, all that stuff was good, man. It was basically kind of a hardcore match, you know what I mean? They, they I don't know, there was, there was spot, I mean, that Grizzly Red, Redwood spot was fucking ridiculous, man. I thought it was dead. Uh, the, the double chain match between uh, Cole Cabana and El Generico against Kevin Steen and Steve Carino. This was awesome okay. as well. Just a complete bloodbath. Three of the four guys, well, El Generico's got the mask on, so who knows if, if he was bleeding, but I mean, just a complete bloodbath. Awesome, awesome stuff. We had, uh, I think we had the intermission after that, and I know there were stream problems as well um, during the uh, GoFightLive.tv actually apologized, issued a statement yesterday on their website, so hopefully they can get those issues, issues resolved because this was a great, great show, man. So the people that ordered it, and I think you guys, I think what they're going to do, I think they said today they should have the full show with, uh, without the, you know, the problems that they had on, uh, on Saturday night, so... We'll see. Hopefully today or, or tomorrow they'll have the full shot. Eddie Edwards versus Sean Bavari. Didn't see much of this, man. Went outside for a cigarette, so. <laughs> cigarette piss break. That. Yeah, we had, uh, I, I won't run this, this through all the way. Shelton Benjamin and Charlie Haas against Chris Hero and Claudio Castanel. G or whatever the fuck his name is. We like to butcher that name. <laughs> Was it good? Awesome, dude. Watch That's what I heard. Too. <laughs> probably, probably match of the year so far when this comes out on DVD I would buy the D I mean even if you're not a Ring of Honor fan I would buy the DVD just for this match man Damn. and I had I had said to somebody when I was um, in Albany and remember I told you about that lady that I met the, the only uh, promotion in Vermont the a yeah. what is it APW or whatever I, uh -huh. we were talking and I said I don't know about Shelton you know Shelton's always been that guy who's a great 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 in ring worker but he's always I'm just always thinking he's gonna fuck up you know what I mean yeah. I'm always thinking there's gonna be some sort of bop spot with him and I had expected that going in and there was nothing like that it just everything flows so, top to bottom just let, let me ask you match of the year uh, so far, yeah. Yeah? So oh, far, nice. Yeah, I mean, we're in what? September? Yeah, we're in September. I would, so, yeah, I mean, I was there live, you know, so I may be a little bit biased, you know. Oh, yeah. Be there live with a crowd like that. I would say, yeah. Match of the year so far. I mean, I would go out of my way to see it. I would order the, order the DVD just to see this. You know oh, what I mean? Oh, awesome. yeah, it sounds like it's awesome. Yeah, and check that out. 
And then uh, the main event 